head on Daytime Buffalo. Elmhurst 1925 is in the studio to show us how you can get more from your plant-based milk. And we celebrate and remember the life of a beloved community member and tell you how you can give back in her honor. It's all coming up right here on Daytime Buffalo. Hello and welcome to Daytime Buffalo. I'm your host, Chelsea Lavelle. You know, Western New York is home to so many incredible businesses and many of the products we use every day come from right here in the 716. Joining me in the Daytime Buffalo studio today is Senior Director of Brand Marketing and Innovation, uh, Christine Hartman and Brand Manager of Elmhurst Plant Based. Uh, 1925 ladies thank you so much for coming in thank you for having us okay first off just right off the bat tell us about Elmhurst milk because you guys have a special story right yes yes um, so we were actually once a dairy company um, and family owned family run still till this day um, and we were a family uh, family run dairy company in the metropolitan New York area uh, for almost 100 years um, and in 2017 we made a huge transition uh, so we shut down the dairy and transitioned to becoming 100% a plant-based milk company. That is absolutely incredible. Now I just have to give a shout out because your company actually started in Queens, right? Yes. Yes. Much like me, a transplant from Queens back yes. up to Buffalo, yes. right? Yes, me as well. Um, <laughs> I call Buffalo home and so happy to. Um, and we've moved uh, all of our operation up to Buffalo. So we're actually located in Elma, uh, our manufacturing facility um, that's behind making all these great products um, right there in Alma, we employ over 600 employees um, at Steuben Foods. Um, and okay, wait, seeing that yeah. right there, 100%. I remember seeing yes. that growing up. Yes, it was a big dairy in uh, Queens. That is so crazy. Okay, so tell us what you guys brought because you have an entire fleet of different plant-based products. Right, so we have our unsweetened line, which is uh, sort of our claim to fame. Only two ingredients, as little as two ingredients, just almonds and water in our almond milk, for example, and packed with almonds. So you get 18 almonds in every glass in that almond milk, which is unheard of yeah. uh, in the plant milk space. We have plant-based creamers as well that are low in sugar. Um, we have barista products that work great in coffee and then seasonal items that people love and are so excited about. Okay. These, this one you said is like a really fan favorite. People are very excited. This one is the lavender. So the vanilla lavender is a new launch for us. Um, it's a spring, summer seasonal item. Uh, it goes great with coffee. It froths and foams very well. And we have an oat nog as well that we launched and people are going crazy over um, and are so excited for the holiday season to enjoy that. Absolutely, can I give it, can I give this one a try? Yeah, okay. yeah, absolutely. Uh, Chris, can you tell us more about what you guys do overall, like the process of making it? Yeah. Um, so we go through, it's actually a patented process, a hydro release process. Uh, we kind of think of it similarly to power washing the nut almost. Um, and then, so we do that back in our facility. Uh, we have a doctor, Dr. Cheryl Mitchell. She's a food scientist. Uh, she's great. She actually developed this process uh, so no one else can replicate any of our milks really. This is really good because this is meant to go in like coffee or something, but yeah. I'm oh, drinking yeah. this very straight smooth, and creamy. it's very smooth, so creamy and the flavor, it, like I, I taste the lavender. Oh yeah. oh yeah, you can use it in coffee, tea. I like that. You can even use it in some uh, cocktails if you want to have some fun. Yep, and what's so special about that process is that it really helps us pack more nutrition in the products that other plant-based milk brands cannot. Um, so more nutrition and clean ingredients. We never have to use gums or oils or filler ingredients to to get you that taste, performance, or creaminess. And because what people don't realize, I learned this a while ago when I kind of was on my health journey and I decided to try to do my best to cut out as much dairy as possible. For me, it's mostly for health reasons. And it also is for my skin. My skin right. does a lot better when I cut out the yeah. dairy. Oh yeah, people often tell us that um, dairy causes them to break out, yeah. causes unnecessary bloating as well. So people will find that you know they're often less bloated and their skin clears up. Um, Especially a lot of our competitors, they'll use gums, oil, stuff like that. Yes. Um, which helps a lot, and our products help a lot with that lack of bloating, lack of like indigestion, stuff like that, uh, without those gums and oils in our products, so. 
where can our viewers find your products? Yeah, so um, some big local retailers we're in. We're in Wegmans, Tops. Oh, wow. Fashion, Literally everywhere. Gray Miller, local uh, co-ops, stuff like that, Whole Foods, uh, if you're shopping there. But yeah, we have, we have a lot going on um, in retail here. Um, and just being from Buffalo, I love working with um, a lot of our local partners here. So we worked pretty closely with Spot um, on our oat nog. Okay. That's, that's our seasonal skew. We did a fun um, oat nog latte with them that I'm not sure if you guys saw. Um, but that was last, um, like, holiday season. And then we also worked a couple of cocktails, actually, with Lloyd. Okay. Um, yeah. And then also Hartman's. Nice. So you they had to do a lot fun. with the yeah. community. I love that everything is completely made here in the 716 Western New York area. It's also healthy. Listen, if you're uh, th enthralled by this and you want to learn more about Elmhurst pl uh, plant based milks, you can head over to their website at elmhurst1925.com. Ladies, thank you so much for coming in. Yes, thank you thank for having you us. So thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.